So simply, if I draw this instrument, okay, now imagine this is the tip, and if you continue the surface here, this is the inner surface, the one that I'm using to carve this way, okay, you see now? So when I move my instrument to remove wax, like this, I'm actually shaping the labial surface. That's why they designed this instrument from the beginning to have this shape. Literally, you are modifying the shape of the anterior tooth into the format. If you look into the palatal part, okay, I can also still use this to confine the shape of the palatal part. You see it? Same thing here. This is a case of a veneer, so we're only doing the facial part, not doing the lingual part. Now, the second anatomical feature is the line angle. What is the line angle? A line angle is basically the joint between two surfaces in a long angle that is called a line angle and in a labial surface, let's say of the central, okay, you have two line angles, one that is connecting the mesial and the labial surface and one that is connecting the distal, this is the distal and this is the mesial, the distal surface with the label surface, okay? Now, what I was doing here is basically trying to define the line angle between the distal part, okay? And the label part. That's why when I hold my instrument, I define two surfaces at the same time. See this line now? What I'm creating here is a line angle. All right. Now, of course, I have to smoothen it. And remove the excess of the wax. And basically, now I'm moving the line angle, okay, into a more centralized area here. Same thing here. You see, the line angle is very far pushed away to the to the distal part. So when you change your instruments, now I'm moving the line angle, just changing the direction, I'm moving the line angle into a more centralized. And now I'm changing the line angle from being in this form here. Okay. I'm moving the line angle from here into a more centralized area here. Okay. This all can be done with this instrument. This will give the tooth a more natural look. It does not look masculine. Okay, it gives it a more natural appearance. So after I finish all these teeth, you will see the difference between the line angles, which here is, is actually better. This is more normal in this area. Okay. But here it's not. Look at the line angle here. It's very uh, obese. It's very uh, strong. I'm going to smoothen all of this to make it more natural looking like this center here. Okay.